Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is an arc fault breaker. We're putting in a square D panel here, and this particular panel has several arc fault breakers. We're going to have about seven as it goes all together. And I have people ask me, well, what exactly is an arc fault breaker for? Let me tell you where they go. They go into your bedrooms, they go into your dining rooms, they go on your lighting circuits, they go in your libraries, they go in your parlors, they go in your uh, lanai areas. They pretty much go all over the house. The other circuits that it doesn't really pertain to would be dedicated circuits, uh, such as kitchen GFIs and bathroom GFIs and outside GFIs. We're going to talk about tripping. How, how fast do these things trip out? I'm asked that question a lot. I'm just going to pull out the instructions. I'm going to show you. It says right here, well, it trips instantly, less than one second. It has a shared neutral, a grounded neutral, or it's got a ground fault current. If it trips two seconds, it's got parallel arc fault circuits, meaning you've got two of them tied together, or you've got series arc fault together, which you're looping from one to the other. If it trips in five seconds, you've got no fault, you have a thermal overload like on a motor load or something, or you have a short circuit like a short to ground, okay? I just want to show you this particular uh, unit. You've got the, this is a 20 amp, square D. You, you have a white screw, and you have a dark screw, okay? And, and what you have also here is a pigtail that goes on the neutral bar. That's what creates the uh, ground. This thing has got very sophisticated electronics inside of it that will trip it out instantly. So I'm going to show you. i got one ready to go here. I want you to notice I've got this pigtail tied into the neutral bar right here. You can see it right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my neutral, which is my white wire, and I'm going to stick it under the white screw. I'm going to take my black wire and I'm going to stick it into the hole for the, under the black screw, or the dark screw. It's like a bronze. Copper. Okay, then all I'm going to do then, I'm going to take it. You notice it's got a leg here. You're going to snap it on the back bar here. And here's the bus bar. So I'm just going to take it and I'm holding that very carefully. This panel is dead, by the way. I'm doing a service change. So I'm going to snap in the back and I'm going to snap in the front. And that's all there is to it, to installing an arc fault breaker. If you have any questions, email us at jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. For you electricians, for you journeymen, for you good helpers, please take some young man under your arm and bring him into the business and teach him well, because our industry needs skilled labor. Pay it forward. Thank you. Bye.